Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make the cheesy pull apart bread that we're gonna use for our pre-party for the Coyote Tales virtual storytelling event on Friday evening. So you don't have to do it with a mortar and pestle, but if you do, you're gonna get better flavor. You could also just use a Cuisinart if that's easier for you. But in here I have basil, garlic. To that I'm gonna add capers and Kalamata olives. And with a mortar and pestle, you just kind of do a rocking motion and you're just grinding it up. And this does a much better job of, re of releasing the aroma and the flavor. And you just work that around a bit. And again, you don't have to do it this way, but I really like the mortar and pestle. I think you get a much better flavor. But once you mix it up, you're just gonna add it in here. I've got mozzarella cheese, feta, a little bit of Parmesan, some cooked spinach, which I just cooked in the microwave and wrung out. I'm gonna add that, a little bit of olive oil, and some chopped sun-dried tomatoes, and sliced red onion. And once you mix that up, that's gonna be the filling for our bread, and you're kind of trying to get a paste going. And then, if you've been working on your sourdough while you're quarantining, this is the place to use it. But if not, any artisan loaf will work. Um, but what you want to do is you want to make diagonal slits almost to the bottom of the bread, about an inch apart, like this. But you don't want to go all the way through. We're keeping it still as a loaf. So using your serrated bread knife, I'm just cutting slices this way. And then you're going to rotate your bread a quarter turn and again go on the diagonal. So you're kind of getting a crosshatch pattern and go as close as you can to the bottom without going all the way through. And then, this is the fun part, you kind of open it up, and then you take this paste, and then using your fingers, you just work it in there. And this is a great recipe, you can do this on your barbecue or in your oven. You can prep it early in the day and have it ready to go for the evening but you're just gonna stuff it down in there. Trying to get it in all those nooks and crannies. It's a little bit messy, but super easy. And you could substitute, like if you prefer blue cheese, I mean, you could go blue cheese and caramelized onion and pear. You can use different kinds of bread. Um, I put pine nuts in this, but you don't have to if you don't like the nuts. But once you get it in there, and you wanna get it worked down in, I like to sprinkle with just a little bit of olive oil. And then I've got a, like aluminum foil that I made just in an X pattern. And then you just want to gently wrap it up. And you toss it in your barbecue 30 minutes and then unwrap it and let it brown up on the top and you can just pull the pieces out. And if you're gluten-free, you can do it with an eggplant. This is a great way um, to save any calories or also if you can't have the gluten. And then one final thing for our cocktail, we're doing a peach cocktail and it has grenadine syrup in it. And in order to get the kind of rainbow look, what you wanna do is you wanna take your spoon and just tip it down into the drink, but not quite touching. And then you just pour the grenadine gently over the back of the spoon. And just because of the weight, maybe a little bit more than that, you'll kind of get that rainbow pattern going. Just like that. So I hope you guys enjoy the show and um, thanks for doing the dinner party.